Carry on the Little Donkey by Mike Mazzalongo. Once long ago in a faraway land lived a little donkey called Arion. Arion was small for her age and for this reason was not made to carry any packages like the other donkeys in her village. Whenever Arion would go to the market with her mother, the other young donkeys would laugh and make fun of her. As Arion passed by, they would cry out, Scrawny! Scrawny! to tease her about her smallness and the fact that she didn't carry any supplies like the others her age. Don't worry, little Arion, her mother said. One day it will be your turn to carry some precious treasure or even someone important. But Arion continued to feel sad because it seemed that everyone else was growing up and serving their owners except her. Each year, a great caravan would be organized to bring fruits and spices to other lands. Everyone was excited because this was the longest trip and only the strongest ones could go. But no one rode Arion because she was not allowed to carry any goods because she was too small. Poor Arion, said Izzy the camel. Nobody wants to use a donkey who has never carried a person or a load before. One day, two men came to visit Arion's owner. They said that their master wanted to borrow Arion. But she's never carried a load, never been ridden by a person, he said, not believing his ears. That's fine, they answered. Our master specifically asked for her. And so, the owner let Arion go with the men, just as the master had asked. When Arion and her mother arrived, the master who sent for her gently touched Arion's neck and said, Don't be afraid, little one. Today you will carry me into the great city. As Arion approached the great city, great crowds appeared along the road. They were singing and cheering the master she was carrying. Arion's friends were surprised to see that the master had chosen Arion to carry him into the great city. After that day, no one ever made fun of Arion or called her names. No one knows what happened to the little donkey once she carried the master into the city. The legend, however, says that after that day, no one ever rode on her again.